Hi, my name is Steve and I'm with Guardian Access and Door Hardware. Today I'd like to introduce you to the Beam Smart Control Kit, which is sold by our friends at NorthShoreCommercialDoor.com. Inside the Guardian Smart Control Kit, you will see several little items. These items include the actual controller itself, which we'll get into in depth in a moment, the Bluetooth door position sensor, the power cable, as well as the push button harness. The first step when installing the Guardian Smart Control Kit is to go to either Apple or Android and download the free app. This app is what's used to both program the devices as well as operate your door at home. Once you have downloaded the app, you can sign up for the service. The service, it is important to note, is free. Once you've purchased the Smart Home Control Kit, there are no other costs involved. No monthly subscriptions like there are with some other products. Once you have the app in, installed on your either Android or Apple device, you would simply click the button that says Set Up Controller. Once you do this, you will be asked to join your Wi-Fi network at your home. It is important to note that when joining a Wi-Fi network, it should only be done on the 2.4 GHz network. This is easily discernible on most routers as it will have your name followed by the dash 5. Do not select that one. If you're not sure, most likely your router is set up to recognize the device itself and will do it for you automatically. Once you have linked your Guardian app to your Wi-Fi system at your home, you'll be asked to set up the controller. This is a very simple process. Plug the, this into the outlet and attach it simply to the back side of the unit where the power port is. Once you accomplish this feat, the orange light will turn on, which lets you know that the unit is receiving power. You will be asked to then select Set Up My Controller. Push that button, simply take the control device with the small little opening right here and lay it directly on top of your phone. Your phone will start to flash or blink and this is how the controller is learned to the app itself. Should you have high light in the area or it's very bright, you may need to simply cup your hands over your phone in order for the system to link up. Once the system is linked up to your Wi-Fi system, you will notice that the green light will come on and it will start blinking to tell you that you are connected. The app itself will also blink and beep and tell you that you are connected as well. The next step in the setup process is to add a door. This is done by simply taking your door position sensor and on the back side you will see a QR code on the sticker. Simply set this down on a surface, say add door, and use the camera settings within your phone to scan the QR code on here. Once that's done, it will link up. The phone will tell you that it's ready to go. Simply remove the adhesive and place the door position sensor in the top corner of your door. Either right or left side, it doesn't matter. This can be attached either underneath your top fixture or just next to the top fixture on the door. What this device does is it lets the controller system know that as the door comes open, it notifies the controller that it is open. Unlike other products on the market that are driven off of the limits or have internal controls for Wi-Fi settings, if you were to disconnect your door and operate it manually, once the door is raised on the, off the ground and this sensor tilts back, it will notify you that your garage door is open, whether intentionally or unintentionally. Once those two steps have been done, it's time to mount the controller. You could simply remove the adhesive and attach it on the side of your operator or secure it to the angle iron or punched angle that is holding the opener in the air. On the back side of this, this again is the power port. These are your indicator lights, orange for the power is on and green that it is connected to Wi-Fi. This particular port here 
is used with the harness. The harness simply clicks into the jack and these two wires will then be added to your existing push button circuit. Wherever the two wires from your push button in your house are, just add these in with those wires. The, the Guardian controller does not affect the normal operation of your door with either your remotes, wireless keypads, or the wall button that you have in your garage. This works in conjunction with them and allows you to use your smartphone to monitor the door as well as open and close the door from anywhere. It is important to note that the Guardian Smart Home Kit should only be used on openers after 1993 that have the integrated photo eye systems with them. In addition, it should only be used on sectional doors. It cannot be used on outswinging or in swinging garage doors at this time. The Smart Control Kit by Guardian can also be used on many different manufacturers openers. Obviously, it works with the Guardian brand, but a complete list is available online at www.adhguardian.com. For the most part, this will work on any residential opener that does not use an encrypted push button circuit, and it covers many models from various manufacturers. Once you have the app up and running and everything plugged in, using the Smart Control app is very simple. You will see your door on the screen. To open the door, you simply swipe up. You'll hear an audible tone, and you will see that the door is in fact open. There are alerts that you can set up within the program itself to alert you if your door is open, if your door is closed, how long the door has been opened, and there's also a self-closing timer that can, be at, that can be used in addition to all these other features. To close the door, you simply swipe down. In addition, you will note that the Guardian Smart Control Kit is compatible with Amazon Alexa. Within the options and settings of your app, you will see integrations. Simply click on integrations and add the Alexa skill to the app. It will again ask for your username and password that you set up originally, and then you will simply be able to ask Alexa to open your door, close your door, or inquire as to the status of your door from anywhere in the world. We at Guardian are continually adding new integrations to include many other home automation platforms that will seamlessly tie in with the Guardian Smart Home Control Kit. Thank you for watching this. We at Guardian are continually striving to add value to our customers and our good friends at NorthShoreCommercialDoor.com also offer a very valuable resource to you, the end users. Should you have any questions, you can reach us at www.adhguardian.com or with our friends at www.NorthShoreCommercialDoor.com. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video from NorthShoreCommercialDoor.com. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make content like this. Thank you.